Okay, Earth Science, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and this cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see what the universe wants you to know at this point in time. So, what the universe wants you to know about yourself or about the person that you're dealing with, the connection, the relationship that you're in, even if you're just loosely involved with this person. This is going to be a general reading, guys, so please just keep that in mind. If you are after personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out. I will list my email address just below the video here. So we'll give the cards a shovel here and begin. Once again, this reading is intended for Taurus, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. Okay, so a lot of you with the death card, a lot of you are going through some major changes. It's a very transitional, transformational kind of energy, okay? Some of you are going through some major life changes. Maybe your relationship here has come to um, an ending of some sort, an ending of a chapter, an ending of communication, or uh, an ending... There's, there's something that's very transformational with this energy because it feels like it's shedding skin. It feels like, you know, there is no such thing as an ending because whatever ends essentially begins again. Okay, so wherever there is death, there is also rebirth. Whenever there is an ending, there's a, there's a beginning. So this, whatever he is ending for you or whoever is taking an exit from your life, they're doing so because this is something that the universe has orchestrated for you. This is a part of your destiny okay this is interwoven in your destiny so if anyone is wanting to take an exit from your life if there are certain things that are ending for you understand that it's because you are shedding your skin so never try to shrink yourself to fit into relationships or um ideas of people that you have completely outgrown okay so allow allow things to take an exit allow people to take a uh, departure from your life and just watch what happens next okay because essentially when someone leaves it's because that very person that very energy is making without even knowing it they're making room for someone new to come into your life so let it do not fight any changes do not fight any endings endings of chapters because what that means is that you're shedding your skin and you're ready to transform okay you're ready to transform or grow or evolve or you're ready for what comes next so this is like the universe's way of trying to prepare you for what lies ahead okay because what lies ahead is the eight of wands there's a lot of excitement there's a lot of energy here with the eight of wands there's a lot of things that are going to be happening for you especially in terms of love and romance so for those of you that may be watching this and you're single um that you wouldn't stay single very long because i'm seeing that there is going to be potential romantic suitors there's also going to be potential for a new relationship or new beginnings and even if you don't necessarily want a relationship i feel like you know there's certain people that are seeking you and your energy out or i feel like there are certain energies that are going to enter into your life and look you may not necessarily get a relationship out of it but I feel like what you will get out of it is something very memorable. It's a very memorable emotional experience. There's a lot of memories, even friendships. So I do feel like there's a lot of developments, a lot of big positive developments that happens for a lot of you in terms of love and romance. For some of you, I'm seeing a lot of forward momentum and progression in your relationship. For others, I'm also seeing travel. There's going to be traveling between you and this person or you're going to be meeting someone online, or for some of you who are doing long distance, I'm seeing you potentially might travel to meet each other. Um, yeah, did I say connecting with someone online? Because I see that I see that's very big for some of you. You're moving in potentially with someone. So basically, there's a lot of big changes that are coming up in terms of your love life. And some of these changes are really going to propel you forward. For some of you, you, feel, you may feel as though you're not ready for these changes. Trust me, if you were not ready for these changes, they would not be entering your life. So... I feel like just, you know, trust the process, let things go and let the changes allow, let, you know, all these changes that are happening for you, let them, allow them to do what they're here to do, which is to change you, to help you grow, to evolve you, 
Okay, because there's a lot of excitement, a lot of energy here with regards to your romantic life here. I'm also seeing that for some of you, you're going to have a very big decision to make, a very big choice to make. Do not rush this choice, but it's something that you're also going to have to choose. It's like you cannot straddle the fence about this. It's like it's either A or B, it's either this or that. But if you're not ready to commit to that choice, then I feel like take your time because whatever you decide on, you have to understand that this is going to impact the future, your future in a very big way. And it potentially could change and alter the rest of your life, guys. So for some of you thinking about going overseas to study or to, to live there, if that's the case for some of you, I feel like you might potentially be meeting someone over there and you could potentially set up a life over there. And you may only go with the intention of, you know, spending a summer or a winter there. But I feel like whatever decision that you're thinking about making, it's going to be absolutely monumental. And it will, it will have that power and that ability to change and alter your life forever. I'm seeing, um, and also with, you know, with all of this fire energy, I feel like there's, as I've mentioned, there's definitely new beginnings for a lot of you. So if you're in a relationship, um, or if you're like romantically involved with someone, I feel like there is potential to build a very solid, um, strong, committed relationship with this person. Or if you're already in a relationship, then I feel like there's potential to move and progress that along. Like it's ready. The relationship here will be ripe and ready for the next stage. There's a lot of there's a lot of exciting changes, there's a lot of excitement, but I want to stress to you guys that you are ready for this, and you may think that you're not, but you are, trust me, because if you, if you were not ready for this, evidence of all of this wouldn't show up in your life, so that's why I feel like you're so ready for everything that's, um, that's being presented to you. I'm seeing some sort of offer coming in for some of you. Now, I don't know if this is an engagement or a proposal, but it could be an offer to move in and live with someone. Someone here could be offering to come and see you. Again, for those of you that are doing long distance, they could, um, or some, someone is offering to take you out on a date. It depends. You know, on a, on a scale here, this offer ranges from something like someone wanting to ask you out or someone connecting with you online or on a dating app to someone wanting to move in with you, wanting to live together, wanting to visit you here. So, you know, it depends where you're at and how this applies to you. But there is something here that an offer, a very special offer of some sort that is uh, being made to you here. It's being presented. And the thing with this offer is there's so much potential. Okay, notice a sprouting wand. And I feel like this ignites a very passionate fire here. So this offer will so for example if it's someone who asks you out i feel like that person asking you out will ignite eventually into a relationship further down the track if it's someone he linking up with you online i feel like that also will eventuate into the two of you you know getting to know one another and possibly blossoming into a friendship or a romantic connection you know what what begins with a small spark i feel like will have that power to blaze into a massive fire into a you know, into a, a glorious fire here. So because there's so much passion behind this offer or behind this person's energy. And the sprouting ones tells me that there's so much growth and so much potential that it's not like a dead end. It's not just an offer to take you out or it's not an offer to just, you know, um, present you with something. There's very passionate pure intention behind it okay and the queen of cups she's very emotionally intuitive and very sensitive here so i feel like when she appears in your spread it's just a reminder to maybe tune in and tap in more into your intuition because some of you especially when you feel like you know you don't know what lies ahead or what step or direction you should take next in life really try and listen to that inner voice because sometimes it can be drowned out by the noise all around us so if you can find a way to Sit still with your in peace with your thoughts and your feelings and just listen to that intuition. You can find a way out of you know whatever hole you seem to get yourself into. So your intuition is definitely trying to, you know, steer you in the right direction, is trying to ensure that you end up exactly where you need to be. So some of you just need to pay it a little bit more attention. And with the five of wands, I feel like there's some sort of conflict that you need to make peace with. Because they I feel like whatever it is that you do not make peace with. 
and you whatever it is that you do not forgive or you do not you know settle that's going to continue to resurface in various ways and it will impact you in your relationship and any future relationship so if there's a conflict that you have or if you feel like you need to forgive someone if you need to cut ties with someone do that okay if you feel like you need to release someone's energy do that of course you know you can't be forced into submission forced into doing it but when you are ready make sure you take care make sure you handle that business because whatever you do not make peace with whatever you, you know, attach, uh, whatever attachments or resentments you do not release or let go that's going to continue to weigh you down and possibly hinder any relationships here okay guys and these are your messages thank you as always for watching and listening please show your support by subscribing to this channel liking or sharing for those of you after a personal reading, feel free to connect with me. Otherwise, guys, bye for now.